Hey, it's Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy is Benny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... And sex, sex, sex. <laughs> and today, today's topic, which should have been right in front of me... How to handle rejection? That's it. How to handle rejection. Awesome. God damn That'll it. be good. It's not even right up on front and center. How to handle rejection. So... You're going to get rejected. This is part of it. Yeah. And so I should probably put these two things up front is when you're learning game, again, it's learn charisma. You're going to have some wins. You're going to have some losses. But with the principles of game, when it fails or if it fails or you try attempt a tactic and it doesn't take, it doesn't mean throw out the entire thing. Right. It means it didn't work in that instance. There's reasons, but you don't have enough experience to kind of like figure it out. It's, it's true. So you just move on to the next girl. You know, you you if you are getting some success, you know it's a tactic that works for you. Does that make sense? But a single failure doesn't mean throw the whole thing out. No. Which is what I'm getting a lot of feedback from guys. They'll say, well, she sent me some nudes, and then I made, you know, I asked her about the chairs in the background, and she blocked me. Well, she was looking for attention. Yeah. She wasn't going to bang you anyway. Yeah. You know, and you're not giving her the attention. And so you continue to use, you know, something in the background, not focus in, oh, you're so hot. and you Exactly. Know, because you're like the other 1,000 men that she sent this nude to. Um, well, and, and we, on those lines, I mean, how many, kind of what the number of, what's the number of, like, rejections when you realize, okay, this one tactic isn't working for me. Maybe it's in my delivery. When it's the majority. Yeah. When, if you get some success, a little, and that's the thing that I do like about game, is generally if you deliver it, you'll get a return. And and from the feedback of guys talking to me, they're like surprised at how fast it works. Right. Especially when you're talking about like texting, where you, no, no punctuation, no capitalization, using fewer words than her, varying your response time, they're like, this shit works immediately. Yeah. They say, you know, literally, the reactions I was getting from girls changed immediately. Right. Um, So that's, then you're going to have girls that are going to ghost. You're going to have girls that are, you know, not going to respond. You're going to have girls that have a personality type that doesn't respond to you. And that's okay. Because you're looking for yes girls. Well, and that's filtering them out. I mean, yeah. like with your example of like a girl sends you a nude and you say something about the chairs and she blocks you. Yeah. I think that this is where some guys kind of miss the forest for the trees because they, she sends a nude. He says, where did you get those chairs? Those are, those are lovely. Instead of. Man, you need to clean your room. It is a disaster. Or shut that toilet. Yeah, like, exactly. I mean, it needs to be kind of a playful thing. Party. Not otherwise. I mean, if you're commenting on the quality of the chairs in the background when she sends you a nude, she thinks you're a gay. That's you know, funny. a closeted gay. I mean, yeah. honest to God, because that sounds like an effeminate comment right. to make. That, so you need to keep in mind right. that these still need to be a little bit more flirty, fl- fun, flirty, playful, yeah, fun, flirty, playful, a little edgy, yeah, but not. You're not saying, "I love the curtains that you that you right. use in the back." I mean, no, no. That's pretty good. Second thing is dealing with rejection. Is you need to recover quickly. Yeah. And the best the best instance that was ever given to me was actually like a businessman. He said, it's like being um, a defensive back and a blown play, you know, or a wide receiver. Yeah. You go out, you miss the ball, you tip it off the ends of your fingers, the ball hits the ground. Well, you don't have time to ruminate. Right. For 30 minutes on why this didn't work, this specific play. You have to actually go back to the huddle, got about... 20 seconds yeah. and then you're back on the line you got to go the next play exactly you have to recover quickly and that's how you have to start developing your own recovery ability when it comes to women because you're going to go through hundreds thousands of women over time 
whether Life you're looking, is long. Yeah, whether you're looking for one or a, or a hundred. Yeah. You know, um, so that we say cultivate a short memory. It doesn't mean don't change your game. Don't, you know, look back and make adjustments according to the feedback you're getting. Yeah. But it also means when you get rejected, 99% of the time, you'll learn. You'll learn through experience. It has nothing to do with you. A girl ghosts. It, her ex-boyfriend came back in town. I bet her prospect popped up. An STD flared up. She moved out of town with a drug dealer. It could be anything. But it's just bad timing. Yeah, it's it's 99% of the time. Because the girls that have what we call boomerang, where they disappear. Yeah. And they come back. And you don't ask. You just, they're back in. Yeah. You know, they will eventually go, you did were you wondering where I went? I go, well, a little bit, but not too much. You're, you're a girl. And they'll be like, well, my ex-boyfriend showed back up on my doorstep. You know. Uh-huh. And it's always somebody that they're a little bit more familiar with. Familiarity is yeah. breeds attraction. Yeah. You're, you, if you're just like. In a lot of ways. Even if you've slept with her a few times. Yeah. And her ex-husband shows back up, the father of her children. Yeah. She doesn't have time to call you. I mean, generally, depending on the girl, they might say, hey, I can't see you for a while you know but they're going to ghost because they've got to like make sure they you're out of their phone right because he's going to go through it you know there's all kinds of things going on that you're not aware of and you're not top of mind and that's okay you're not you're not supposed to be but rejection handling rejection you have to practice getting on that phone or getting in front of the next girl as fast as possible and that's what you have to cultivate is a short memory and in doing so, you can't be reactive. No, no. The less you react, the better. And not reacting also allows leaves the door open for them to return. Right. You know, a girl might wander off and then they come back. Because if the timing's bad, but she was still attracted to you, as soon as the timing is good on her side, she will reach out. Absolutely. And that's, that's a good point. I, I forget that sometimes to kind of convey that. But... That's where you'll start getting these guys that do understand this game. And the lack of reaction, one, it's it's a little bit sometimes for guys it's laziness, and that's okay. <laughs> um, but when you have three or four girls kind of on rotation or, or more, you tend to start not being able to keep track of them anyway. Because <laughs> like, they'll wander off. But you won't notice. You just don't notice yeah, as much. Yeah, literally, it's almost like through a transition period. This isn't something like dealing with rejection that guys have to deal with constantly. It feels that way, you know, in the beginning and midpoint. But once you're kind of running a lot of girls, they're going to kind of come and go. Right. You know, and you actually have better, because you're better at picking the women, you'll have a better relationship with them. That's sure. where you'll get the girls that will show up and go, hey, this is the last time we can sleep together. So and so is probably going to pop the question. You know, I mean, they've got to like take themselves out of the rotation. Right. But wherever you're at in your in your journey, for lack of a better word, um, getting cultivating a short memory, being able to overcome rejection quickly, will benefit you and her in every way. Absolutely. And then and then you'll you'll be off to the races because you can't ruminate too much because then you start changing things that don't need to be changed. You start getting down on yourself. It has nothing to do with you. Yeah. You know, and this is eighty percent of the questions I get in the DMs is she did this, this, and this. I go, bro, it had nothing to do with you. Yeah. At all. She had somebody else she was sleeping with. A husband showed up. You know. Right. Ninety nine percent of the time, the girl has other men that are there you know yeah absolutely especially if you're pretty new to the scene i mean yeah. you can't assume that she was she was genuinely just sitting around on her on her hands you know doing some knitting in front of the fire with her little cat at her feet that's not that's not how it was and you know that's easy for men to kind of like, when when a girl says yeah i've been single the last two years which you'll hear a lot yeah. you know single doesn't mean i'm not having sex with other people and girls are masters at hiding by for your own good men from you. Yeah. You know, she's she'll see in somebody yesterday, you're not gonna know it. Right. She's gonna see somebody after tomorrow, you're not gonna know it. Right. That's not 
for you, and she knows that men react badly to that. Absolutely. So this is for your own good. I hate to be like that, but it's true. It really is. It really is. Yeah. If you struggle with this, if you struggle with rejection, if you struggle with um, kind of, I think I think the best way to say it would be to that you struggle with kind of being tripped up when you're rejected by a girl. I have a one itis book that's been out for years and is one of my best selling books because whether it's a breakup, which I also have a breakup recovery guide, but at the heart of it, a lot of times men struggle with getting over one girl or one type of girl. And so that's where kind of one itis is very much uh, a key player in this. And that book in particular, came about because I was doing so many consults with so many men who were dating a lot of women but could not get this one girl or this one type of girl who maybe wasn't the best for them out of their heads. Uh, and it was really uh, negatively impacting every other aspect of their sex life. So I don't want you to have, we don't want you to have a shitty sex life. We want you to have, you know, tons of women throwing themselves at you all the time, whether you are looking to find a, a nice girl to settle down with and, and raise a family with, or if you're trying to fuck your way around the world. Either way, it's a win, win, win. If you like this podcast, please like, subscribe, share with your friends because we want you to win. Bye!